Hi friends, welcome to today's class. Today's question is, A, B and C can do a piece of work in 6, 8 and 10 days respectively. They start the work together. B and C leave the work 2 days and 3 days respectively before completion while A works till the last day. What time is the work finished? So here what's the question? A is taking 6 days to complete a work. B is taking 8 days to complete a work and C is taking 10 days to complete the work. And they are starting the work together. A, B and C are starting the work together. But before completion, A is, uh, sorry, B is leaving the work 2 days before com completion. And C is leaving the work 3 days before completion. But A is working till the end. So how much how many days will be taken to finish the work? So that's a question. So let's use the chocolate approach. So A is taking 6 days, B is taking 8 days and C is taking 10 days. So we have to take the LCM of 6, 8 and 10 as the total number of chocolates. We are assuming that the work to be finished is the number of chocolates to be consumed in order to have a better understanding. So here number of chocolates will be e equal to the LCM of 6, 8 and 10 which is equal to 120. So A will be having 120 divided by 6 Sin since A is taking 6 days to complete 120 chocolates. So A will be having 120 divided by 6 is equal to 20 chocolates per day. Then what about B? B will be taking 8 days to complete 120 chocolates. Therefore, we will be having 120 by 8. It is equal to 15 chocolates per day. And what about C? C is completing 120 chocolates in 10 days. And so C will be having 120 by 10 is equal to 12 chocolates per day. So here, the, it is given B is leaving the work 2 days before completion. And C is leaving the work 3 days before completion. So we don't, we don't know how many days are taken for completion. So that is what we have to find out. So let number of days taken for work be equal to x. So if x is the number of days taken then we can say that a is working for x days. Because a is working till the end. Now b is working for how many days? b is leaving 2 days before completion. So x days are taken for completion and b is leaving 2 days before the completion. That means b is working for x minus 2 days. And what about c? It is given C is leaving 3 days before completion. So X days are taken for completion and C is leaving 3 days before that. So C will be totally working for X minus 3 days. So from that we can conclude this 120 chocolates are completed by the work of A in X days, B in X minus 2 days and C in X minus 3 days. So A is working X days plus B is working X minus 2 days plus C's work in X minus 3 days will give us 120 chocolates or the total work will be completed by A working for X days, B working for X minus 2 days and C working for X minus 3 days. Now what is A's work in X days? A is having 20 chocolates per day. So within X days A will be having 20 X chocolates and what about B? B is having 15 chocolates per day. So within x, x minus 2 days, B will be having 15 into x minus 2 chocolates. And C will be having 12 into x minus 3. That means it is working for x minus 3 and C is having 12 chocolates per day. The so 12 into x minus 3 will be giving us 120. And by solving this formula, we will be able to find out what is x. So what we will be getting? 20x plus 15x plus 12x will give us 47x. And 15 into 2 is 30, 12 into 3 is 36. So we will be getting 47x minus 66 is equal to 120. 30 plus 36 is equal to 66. So from that we will be getting 47x is equal to 120 plus 66 is equal to 186. So we will be getting x is equal to 186 by 47 which is equal to 345 by 47 days. So x is what we have to find out. How many days are taken for completion? So our answer is 345 by 47 days will be taken for completion. Now let's go to example number 2. 
A, B and C can complete their work in 10, 12 and 15 days respectively. They started the work together but A left the work before 5 days of its completion. B also left the work 2 days after A left. In how many days was the work completed? So what's the question given? A is taking 10 days to complete their work. B is taking 12 days to complete the work. And C is taking 15 days to complete the work. And they are starting the work together. A, B and C are doing the work together or they are starting the work together. But A is leaving the work before 5 days of its completion. So 5 days before the work is completed, A is just leaving. And B is leaving the work 2 days after A left. That means B is leaving 3 days before the work is completed. A is leaving 5 days before and A is, B is leaving 2 days after A left. So we can say B is actually leaving 3 days before the work is completed. So in how many days the total work will be completed? So that's a given question. So let's take the chocolate approach. So the number of chocolates is equal to the total amount of work to be done. So it should be taken as the LCM of 10, 12 and 15. So we can tell number of chocolates is equal to 60. So A will be having 60 chocolates in 10 days. So which will give us A will be having 6 chocolates per day and B will be having 60 chocolates in 12 days. So B will be having a total of 5 chocolates per day and C is having 60 chocolates in 15 days. So C will be having 4 chocolates per day. So we don't know how many days are taken in total. So we are taking it as X. Let X be the number of days taken for completion. So we can say A is working for X days. So uh, sorry. A is leaving 5 days before completion. So actually A is working for X minus 5 days. And B is leaving 3 days before completion. So B is working for X minus 3 days. And C is working till the end. So C is working for X days. So this is giving us 60. So how many chocolates A are having for one day? A is having 6 chocolates per day. So within X minus 5 days A will be having 6 into X minus 5 chocolates. And B is having 5 chocolates per day and B is working for X minus 3 days. The total number of chocolates consumed by B is equal to 5 into X minus 3. And C is having 4 chocolates per day and C is working for X days. Therefore, the total number of chocolates consumed by C is equal to 4x and this total will give us 60. The chocolates, the chocolates consumed by A plus the chocolates consumed by B and the chocolates consumed by C will together give us the total number of chocolates that is equal to 60. Now we can get x by solving this equation and having 6x plus 5x plus 4x which is equal to 15x. And we are having minus 30 and here it will be minus 15. So minus 30 minus 15 is equal to minus 45. Taking to the other side we will be getting it as 1 0 by 60 plus 45 is equal to 1 0 by. And from that we will be getting x is equal to 1 0 by 15 is equal to 7 days. So here our question is to find out x or how many days are taken for completion. So 7 days are taken for completion. Thank you for watching.